Nigeria and Sub-Saharan Africa are saddled with problems of prison congestions, excessive use of force during arrest of suspects, torture, unlawful detention and abuse of prisoners among other issues. To redress the situation, the Minister of Interior has warned prison officials to be alive to their responsibilities. I want to warn you that you must take your responsibility very serious because if you don't, then I will show you the other side of it. Those who are given the responsibility of taking care of our prisoners and prisoners, you all must change your attitude. For the Controller General of the Nigerian Prisons Service, it was a moment of lamentation as he enumerates the challenges of the service. We have only about 258 vehicles serving over 5,000 courts in 774 local government areas in Nigeria. We have our human resource challenges that is the staff that take care of these inmates. Actually, our establishment provision is about 45,000 staff. However, we have 28,065 officers. The Executive Secretary of the National Human Rights Commission used the occasion to advise the federal government against swapping of prisoners. By calling on the federal government of Nigeria to review the transfer of prisoners' agreement existing between the country and some other countries today because of the rising human rights implications. What is happening is that most of these people who have been transferred back to Nigeria have families in the countries where they are. The Prisons Reform Conference, according to the organizers, is aimed at exploring new efforts at reforming the sector in a bid to proffer effective and sustainable solutions.